All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading. This is for August 2024. Let's see what's going on for my Cancers. This is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters or energies. As always, I will. I will. I will talk to a cross watcher. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> we might be talking to a cross watcher, but sounds like we will be talking to a cross watcher. Um, in the extended, I will talk more about the astrology of what's happening in August. There's some really interesting, one of the biggest conjunctions and squares happening this year is happening in August. So I'll talk about how it's likely to impact you. Let's see what comes out in the reading, please. For cancers. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Oh my, yes. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. One step at a time, my darling. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Hmm. And view from above. Get the big picture. So that feels like a journey kind of encased in this month. Okay, so a lot of times when we're talking about astrology, we're talking about, you know, our journeys on this planet. Sometimes we're talking about bigger um, journeys and then there's smaller journeys within those big journeys, right? We talk a lot about, um, you know, Saturn returns and things like that. Just from a human perspective, you know, as we mature, we go through different cycles with different parts of our lives. And so I feel like what you're seeing in August is a big transformation that happens within the month. Okay. So this may not have anything to do with other people. It could have just to do with your own, uh, with your own plans, with your own journey forward, with your own maturation in terms of a certain topic in your life, your ability to start something. There's the middle of something and the end of something all contained within this 30 day period. So, I feel like for you, if you are starting something or if you're feeling like, okay, it's time for me to get going on a project, it's time for me to move forward on something, um, we do, I just want you to keep in mind, we do have a Mercury retrograde happening in Virgo. It's going back into Leo. So the quality of that uh, Mercury retrograde, meaning um, how you communicate can change over the course of the month into this was a challenge, then that was a challenge, or this was a beginning, this is a middle, and then this is the end, this is when I realize, you know, how to overcome this challenge, something like that. Um, so let's go deeper into the reading and see. I just feel like a lot of the, a lot of the energies of August are about patience. Okay, we do have quite a, quite a bit of Virgo in, um, planets in Virgo, planets aspecting things in Virgo, right? Mercury going back into Virgo. There's quite a lot of that. And, and Virgo is the energy of patience and also being very discerning. All right. So that might be a, a word that you're going to need to um, write down. <laughs> being, being more discerning. It can also kind of block you from making progress because you can get Virgo uh, a lot like uh, Gemini. You can get so twisted up in your thinking sometimes that, or like, is this practical or is this going to yield exactly what I want that you don't do anything. So there can be something like that. I think I just, something out of the corner of my eye, I just caught something over here. Um, so let's see where we're going here. Eight of swords. Oh yes. Look at this. The sun the devil energy, the eight of swords is kind of the lower octave of the devil energy, meaning, you know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Okay. So let's keep going here and see what's happening. Three of cups and the page of swords. I feel like you might be reaching out to someone, to a friend or to uh, someone, you know, has overcome what, what's happening with you, whatever's happening with you this month. Um, you're looking for their wisdom, looking for their guidance. This just feels a little bit like a lack of self-confidence in terms of because I'm so twisted up in my head about something that I can't get out of it with the kind of thinking that I'm doing, right? I'm, what is that? Uh, Einstein talks about that the, uh, or talked about <laughs> that you cannot solve a problem with the same kind of thinking that created the problem. I think that goes to August here for you, Cancer, 
that there might be um, there might be some kind of energy like that. Even though you see where you want to go, it's like, how do I get there? Okay. So Ace of Cups showing up. I like that. Look at that. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. What in the world? You're be you have an opportunity here. A big opportunity. And it's almost like you're too um, stuck in your head being so conflicted about this because I can't see the road. I can't see, but it's almost like the universe is saying to you, just commit to the journey and then ask for help. Ask for the next step. Just ask for the next step. It's like, if you don't see the whole path, you're not going down it, but that's not what this is about. This is about you having confidence and just taking one step, one step, one step. That's very Virgo energy. All right. Four of wands, the seven of cups. Look at that. And the knight of wands. Lovers. What? What? Okay. Ten of wands. Okay. And the eight of cups. So I, I like this progression. This does feel like you're going in a good direction. But if you look at this, this is the past. You had an opportunity maybe with a Gemini, a Leo, a Sag, a Capricorn, a really good opportunity that you might have let pass because you're worried, you don't know, you're worried, you're confused, lacking in direction uh, because of what I just talked about, that idea that I need to see the whole path and I feel like that's the lesson of August is that we don't typically, because look at this, ascending the mountain and then reaching your destination. And then the card is the big picture. So you don't really know what the end game is or what the result is. That's true. But the purpose is the taking the step. The purpose of this journey is to help you have confidence in yourself that you will reach a destination, reach the destination you want. It's something that is under your being, your, your mindset is that if I don't see how to get there, I'm not taking that first step. And then there's the other side of it is I want to, uh, it's like eating the elephant all in one bite. You don't have to It's too scary to be in the middle steps of something. If I leave something behind, there, it, there's going to be eight or 10 steps because eight, nine, 10 here, eight or nine steps before you kind of see how this is playing out and how this is unfolding, how this is um, um, leading you in the direction of what you want. This is, this is about trust trusting yourself. And it's mostly because you don't trust yourself because other people have planted that seed of you don't know what you're doing. You don't know where you're going. You don't know how this is going to play out. They've, you know, this could have been like at, when you were growing up that there was a lot of undercutting of your self-confidence. And so that's what this is. It's showing you that this is the pattern to be burned. This is the pattern to be exploded. This is the pattern to be defeated. And the way you do that is that you do take a step and you take the next step and you take the next step and you'll eventually get to this destination. And then by doing that, by overcoming something, you will see or you will have confidence the next time there's a journey, which there always is. This is a, this is definitely a, a lifelong, this is a big cycle, a lifelong cycle of I've had chances and because I'm playing it too safe, I'm, I'm too scared because I don't see how this is unfolding. I don't see what's the next step after that. So the way to work with this is small things, right? This seems like a big consequential um, life change, but can you, can you try to just take the next step in something that isn't quite so consequential. So you can get some self-confidence rolling here. Um, I do feel that you think or you see other people as doing this 
and they make it look easy. This Knight of Wands make, makes it look very easy. And you're like, it's not easy. It's not that easy. And like, you're fighting yourself about this. It's, <laughs> I get this image of the kid of like, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? That's what you're doing. You're hitting yourself. You're saying that there's no, there's no path. If I can't see the whole path, there's no path. And that isn't true. That isn't true. So talk to me, uh, give me some clarity around this five of wands, this conflict. Yeah. Stubbornness, four of cups, page of pentacles, the high priestess and the tower. So there's going to be some sudden revelations for you. If you go inward, if you, the first step for you might be stepping into meditation, stepping into journaling. Uh, I know that seems like, wow, that's, you know, that's a far piece from where I want to go, but actually not really. Your job is to start trusting your own inner guidance. And if you're not meditating, you're thinking too much, you're in your head too much. So this is about, this is a Cancerian card. Okay. So this is about stepping into the things you can't see. And there's something about this that's very natural and normal to you, but that the conflict comes from people outside of you that you gave your power over to. So we have Pluto. Uh, Pluto is backing up into Capricorn. It's not going to get into Capricorn until September. Um, it will be at 29 degrees Capricorn for a while, and then it'll come back into Aquarius in October or no, it'll just go direct. It'll come back into Aquarius in the beginning of next year. And so there's a little, that's a cool thing here for you, I think, because Capricorn is your opposite sign. Okay. And Pluto in that time is like assessing about taking your power back. This is about taking your power back from those voices in your head that say that you can't do what you want to do. It's about taking your power back. Okay. So, um, I get the feeling you had a really good opportunity here. This Knight of Wands, I, I feel like this person could be a Gemini Sag, like I said, Leo, Capricorn, this Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Death Card, the Emperor, wow, Two of Wands. This person is very dynamic. They've, they've accomplished this. They know they've made some kind of big change in their life that has even moved them from a knight to a king to an emperor because they've made the choices. They've allowed themselves to sort of die a thousand deaths and become transformed by that process. This person, this could be an actual person in your life. The person that was here, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Gemini card, or this person can be some kind of ideal uh, some kind of mentor that you look to in terms of moving your life forward. And you're like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. I feel like that's, that's where you need to get to that. There's somebody who's, I mean, effectively they're showing you the path because they've been able to do it. So I don't know if you know this person or if this is like, in theory, this is somebody who's done this, done what you want to do. You might reach out to them. Um, this person is uh, making decisions right now in their life. If this is a real person in your life, this person's making decisions. What about this eight of cups? Three of swords, two of swords, five of pentacles, and the woo, five of swords. So I feel like you're walking away from this kind of heartache. Look at that. Two and three is five, five of pentacles, five of swords. So at some point you have to, you know, if you're going to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. Okay. And so this is, can be about walking away from a bad situation that you're in. You've stayed too long. You had, didn't make the choice. So you stayed too long. Five of pentacles, leaving behind some very low vibe work or career path. Five of Swords, you're, what you're really leaving behind, let's see, Five of Swords, Five of, did I get the Five of Cups? I did not get the Five of Cups, um, but the Five of Wands is up here, and I feel like the Five of Cups is here for some reason. We have the Seven of Cups. Five of Cups is about no regrets, and the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords are about fighting your battles. 
It's time to fight your battles. I almost feel like that's the thing that you don't want to do. You don't want to fight a battle about moving forward. But I don't really, I feel like that's part of the deal. Uh, the kings and the emperors, um, especially the emperor about Mars. And one of the things we're going to talk about in the extended about Mars conjunct Jupiter. We saw that in July, Mars conjunct Jupiter. It was also conjuncting um, a dwarf, is a dwarf planet, Algol, or... Um, I have to, I'll have to look that up, but there's something about that July, mid July, um, uh, conjunction that was super powerful. That was about getting rid of, you know, the, the, um, top dog. There's something here about getting rid of the top dog and the top dog could be your father could be the voice of your father saying, you'll never amount to anything, son, uh, or, or, uh, your mother or the, some voice of um, authority telling you that you can't do whatever you want to do. This is about undercutting your self-confidence. Okay. So it's like, we're decapitating that we're decapitating that. And we're saying, okay, you know what? Because where I am right now, isn't good at all. It's not like, oh, well, I'm going to stay in something that's really awesome. Uh, Cause I don't want to risk it. Uh, to go somewhere that might be great, or I don't know how to get there. You're in something that's not good right now. And it's not like, what do you got to lose? But there's a little flavor, a flavor of that in here about what do you got to lose? I just feel like you're holding yourself back because I'm not seeing each of the steps. I want to know, I want to have some kind of guarantee. And that's what's really holding you back. All right. So let's keep going. I will go deeper into the astrology in the, in the extended. There is a link below if you want to continue on with me and I will see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.